Happy Thursday, Vikes. Today we'll be talking about the random computer checks, as well as all the things you can do on Friday nights. I'm Mason. And I'm Mike, and your news starts now. This year, the school started doing random computer checks. Here's the information you'll need to keep yourself out of detention. The school has new random laptop checks to protect against VPNs. We talked to Mr. Schmidt to learn more about the random searches. Well, we just bring the computers in, um, the technology uh, person in the building brings the computers in and they'll look, make sure the computers are clean, um, that they're being ta you know, taken care of physically on the outside, you know, wash them, or clean them up. Um, then he'll look at the, you know, the inner workings of the computer to make sure that um, the history of the computer has not been deleted, first of all, recently, and then second, to uh, just to ensure that the, the uh, students are going to places that are acceptable and appropriate and not getting themselves um, kind of down to a rabbit hole where they shouldn't be, mm -hmm. so to speak. And then also check for viruses on the computer. Um, and one big thing that uh, it's important to the schools. We have a firewall that kind of helps protect the students most of the time, but when they use a, a VPN that um, circumvents our um, VPN, our school uh, firewall, then it, it makes them susceptible to viruses and things, and so and even going to places that they should probably shouldn't be going to. So we have to make sure that the the VPN the uh, that would circumvent our system is not in place on the computers as well. A VPN is a network that allows someone to bypass the school firewall. Students can get into trouble if they have a VPN network on their computer. This year we, we started, uh, in, in, uh, any time a student was to break the uh, st standard use agreement for the computers, then um, the, the uh, consequence would be a point, two points, excuse me, two points at detention, 50 minute detention, and a one week uh, grounding, so to speak, from the computer. If you're selected for a random computer check, your computer will be confiscated immediately during class. This will prevent kids from downloading things that shouldn't be on their computer. Logan Smith had his computer checked and was caught with a VPN. Uh, well, I got called into the office um, and I got told I had a VPN on my computer, which I was not aware of. Um, Apparently it's virtual uh, private network, I think, and it apparently helps you get around the school's firewall, mm -hmm. mainly, I guess, for Netflix and other things. Uh, well, I think I got off on the easier end. Uh, my punishment was uh, a 50 minute, 50 minute detention and uh, one point, and then you can't, you lose your computer for so many days depending on how severe the violation was. A VPN network can not only be dangerous for your computer, it can also land you a spot in attention. If you have a VPN network, uninstall it to protect yourself from viruses and keep yourself out of trouble. Make sure you're being responsible with your computers, Vikes. If you want to experience a Broadway show and visit the city that witnessed the beginnings of the American Revolution, then come to the Seaman High School Library tonight at 7 p.m. The Fine Arts Booster Club is offering a $100 gift card to the winning banner design representing fine arts at Seaman High. Entry deadline is December 21st. The winning design will be selected on January 28th and will be produced on a free standing banner to be used by FABC. Tomorrow is the last day to purchase a Robotics Club t-shirt. Turn in your order form to Mr. Kuhn in N15. Make checks payable to Robotics Club. DeLeonardo Seminar is in first place in the code drive with a total of 63 points. Martinez's seminar is in second with 49 points. As a school, we've collected 106 coats. Remember that the drive ends tomorrow. Good job, Vikes. This year's spring musical is Legally Blonde. Tyler talked to Miss Murphy to learn more about it. 
I'm Tyler, here with Miss Murphy to learn more about the Spring Musical. Okay, Miss Murphy, what is the Spring Musical? The Spring Musical this year is Legally Blonde the Musical. What is it about? Legally Blonde is about a girl named Elle Woods who breaks up with her boyfriend Warner, and in order to win him back, she enrolls in Harvard Law School. When and where are the additions to be in this musical? Auditions are next week, the first week of December. We have clinics on December 3rd and 4th in the choir room. Auditions are on the 5th, and callbacks are on the 6th. Do you have anything else to add? If you have any questions or you want an audition form, come see me in W7. It's going to be a really good show. We're going to have a huge cast and crew. We need like 50 people to be in it, so come on down. Okay, thank you. Make sure to go audition if you're interested. Now let's head over to Mason to find out how SWIM did last night. Very real thing. Affecting over half of young adults online, it is generally done by bullies called trolls. These trolls will invade your privacy and ruin your social media experience. Here are some ways to prevent that. Set your privacy settings on all accounts. Only accept friends. Trolls are not your friends. Don't release any personal information. Block suspicious accounts. And tell a trusted adult. Use these tips to help keep you safe on social media. Don't get trolled. Stay safe online. And stop. The school musical this year is Legally Blonde and it's coming up soon. Clinics are December 3rd and 4th at 3.30. Auditions are December 5th at 3.30 and callbacks are December 6th at 3.30. For more details, see Mrs. Murphy and W7 or Mr. Bond in the choir room. The swim team took fifth place at the meet yesterday. Great job, Bikes. Basketball practice is going well, and the first game will be next Tuesday at Lansing. Good luck, guys. That's it for sports. Let's see how Josh is doing with the weather. Good afternoon to you. We are tracking a slightly warmer day today but it won't get quite as warm to areas to our south because of this you see right here. All of these clouds are moving and that's a sign that they are for sure clouds. But you see this area here in central Kansas where there's no cloud cover and that is snow cover and this extends further into the clouds as well, but that'll be keeping our temperatures a little bit cooler than to our south. So today, a high of just 44 degrees. We'll be around that through 3 p.m. and then temperatures start to take a tumble in the evening as always tomorrow though we'll have a sunset at 5 p.m so by 5 p.m we'll have a moon on the rest of today forecast but otherwise we are looking at a chance for fog tonight this could be dense at times through tomorrow morning so just give yourself an extra minute or two and drive slow to school tomorrow because there's a chance visibility could re be reduced under a mile at times tonight into tomorrow morning. So just keep that in mind. And otherwise, attention turns to our next rain chance. Here we go, Friday morning could be some drizzle and mist with that fog, but otherwise most of the notable activity stays to our southwest. It's not until we head toward noon as we start to see these showers creep up into north northeast Kansas, but this should not be particularly heavy. Afternoon, I think it's likely that we'll be dealing with some showers around but as we head into Friday evening, there's a chance we could catch a break as this first wave lifts off to our north and our attention then turns to an area of thunderstorm development Friday evening. This will probably move in sometime after midnight Friday night, so don't be surprised if you're woken up by some thunder early Saturday morning. And then on the back side of this system, we introduce a snow chance as early as Sunday evening for areas near the Kansas-Nebraska border. But as some more energy comes out from the southern Rockies, our best snow chance holds off until throughout the day on Monday. Snow showers will be possible, however, accumulations still look to remain minor at this time. And now for your SVTV 7-day forecast, you can see that highs again remain in the middle to upper 40s through Saturday. Cooler on Sunday and then much cooler 
for the first half of next week, highs in the lower to mid 30s. Now, Mason and Ike, back to you. So, me and Trey Duffy made a wrap of all the things you can do on Friday nights. We'll leave you with this Topeka Nights. Just got out of school. It's a Friday night. Hey, Mason, what's on the agenda tonight? Well, Trey, I'm sure you know. There's a lot of places in the city to head out and go. Let's go over to the zoo. A perfect place for you. Take a ride on the train that goes... Woo! Woo! Craving some mozzarella sticks? Sonic is the place to go. And head over to Walmart to help cover up your B.O. If you want to boast your arcade skills, you can head over to the pennant. Go over to the Capitol and see all the politicians in it. If you want to change your look, head over to the mall. And go over to the Kansas History Museum to see John Brown in the mall. By this point, you've probably built up an appetite. Go over to Burger Stand and grab a bite. I rated it a 9 out of 5, so you know it's alright. If you're feeling like something sweet, Hill Chocolate Shop has something for you to eat. Over at Westridge, you can go bowling or golfing. It'll only cost you a smidge. You're probably pretty tired and feel like sitting down. Head over to Hollywood 14, which has the best movies in town. Man, Mason, that sure was a good time. And that brings us to the end of this rhyme.